welcome everybody to the Women's Retirement Roadmap. And I'm really excited to have everybody here. I know we have a few good men on here too. So what we're going to talk about today is to have high performing portfolios that's protected from market loss using happy money investment strategies. Now, my name is Chris Miller. And I had a very wonderful introduction. As you heard, I've been in practice for over 30 years and I've helped over 6,000 clients. No one on my watch has ever lost a dime. So during this time, I've learned some amazing strategies and we're gonna talk about three secrets for safe money and a fabulous future. You know, it really started with my number one best-selling book. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is a download of all the people that have come into my office. And what I found was a pattern. I really didn't see it till really decades into the practice that there was actually a pattern of three things that people miss. So we're going to talk about the happy money strategies. And, you know, with over 6,000 clients and being able to see every portfolio is different. I'm going to be able to share with you, you know, how you're going to think about this and get the outcome that you really want and what you need to do to get there. So we're going to transform the losses and the gains. And, and part of my purpose is that you get peace of mind. What does it feel like to know that you're never going to outlive your money? There's a lot of relaxation there. Having your affairs in order gives you what I call in a state of mind, peace of mind, knowing your money is safe. So I want you to know that when we're done today, I'm going to invite you to explore working together to help you to the desired outcome, right? Achieve tax-free retirement. Never worry about outliving your money. Everybody's going to have to move beyond their comfort zone. You must commit to never let yourself doubt to stop you from having what you want. But, you know, we got a plan, got to have an action, right? And, you know, there's some serious things about transforming your relationship with money, securing your fit future, and living your dreams now. In, really, nobody's really born to know how to manage money. And so what I do is I help make it fun, simple, easy, so it's safe and you're not going to be paying more taxes than you have to and how are you going to weather the storms of taxes and inflation and what is life right without work we're talking about third and fourth quarter life what does that look like will your money last just to have some time for that right so most people never take the time to educate yourself right you go to school you get out of school you know you learn how to make money but what happens when you go to school, make money, and then what? Usually, most people give their money to somebody else to invest it. And what I saw over my decades of practice, thousands of people come into my office, and don't be offended if this is you, but most people will start their retirement plan in their 50s and 60s. And imagine if you would have known this ahead of time, but there's, it's never too late. I even work with people that are 90, so, but we can catch up with it, you know, and I'm really glad and wanted to, you know, commend you guys for showing up because what happens is people don't take the time. So you're taking time and I'm going to consolidate 30 years. I'm going to download it all, a lot of information. So take notes, put your comments in the chat. You'll see a little places where I'll be able to um, help you learn about the happy money strategies but first of all i want to make sure that you guys get this financial this knowledge and the challenges of how the ta taxes and this is going to really change everything the inflation and the taxes and do you have to have a lot of money most people think well i gotta have a lot of money or i have to have a team of people or i've got to be studying the markets all the time I've simplified my 30 years into a practice that beyond words can say to make it really easy for you to have success and to protect your assets from losses, taxes, and catastrophic illness. So I want you to know, again, that when we're done, 
We will explore working together and you'll be able to connect with me at meetwithchrismeller.com. The little boxes will show up. This is not designed as a sales pitch, but really in, in order to have, have happy money and to see whether or not I can help you. And, you know, you can figure it out on your own. Good luck, because you got to study a lot of information to do it. And I really recommend you do take time to learn what I'm talking about. So we're going to be able to have money to invest and money to protect by the time we're through understanding all this. So it all asks, starts with asking your, yourself the simple question. Do you want to protect your assets from losses, taxes, and long-term care? Go ahead, say yes. Put in the chat box, yes. I want to see your yes. And that's a commitment. It's an energetic commitment that, yes, I do want to do that. So, you know, you're probably watching the media and the market and the politics and you're worried about the next pandemic and what's happening next and inflation. It's crazy, right? So, the, how does it show up for you? Are you always looking at your statements? Are you watching the news and your stomach falls out when you, the market crashes like, you know, Friday it just lost 900 points? It's like a roller coaster ride. Well, I'm going to show you a mindset and strategies that will enable you to fly above the roller coaster. This step is important because you need to know what activities will bring the most return for the least amount of work remove your insecurity this breakthrough system for happy money where you are and where you want to be and that's why we need a roadmap three secrets simple steps that we can take if you see my book here you can actually get it later and go to my website and get it or get it on amazon but i'm going to go beyond the book and i'm going to give you guys hands-on things that you will be able to walk away with how to protect your assets so women we've really found out that you know women have been highlighted a whole lot and and it's it's really interesting that you've got to pay attention because when most women outlive men um and and you may you know be excited about this but when you see the burden really is on us to understand our money and in my own family my my family was almost the nightmare in my business my mommy had cancer for 10 years and my dad handled all the money and then when he got sick she didn't even know where the checkbook was you know what that was most of the clients that i've talked to in the way that people had set up things and now this system is changing so everybody needs to be empowered and the goal is to get you into retirement into a plan that provides you with strategies that will allow you to leverage your savings and turn them into a, a powerful in, engine for generating income during those retirement years so that you can kick it up and enjoy your retirement so you may kick for joy because you finally made it for retirement, but you don't want to kick yourself for not doing a better job saving and investing. So, so we're going to focus on those things. We don't want to end up in fear. You know, obviously you see the stats and, and, and this is overall, it's men, women, all stats really aarp did a survey 69 percent of people are more afraid about running out of money than death so there's something to wake up here now according to the 19 facts about women's retirement outlook 12 percent are confident 12 percent right they're going to have a comfortable lifestyle and 55 percent over half expect to retire after 65 or not at all and only a third are going to even use a planner. It's hard to trust people these days. That's what I've seen. Now, the dangers, and we're going to talk about the alligators because we're all trying to swim across the other side of the swimming pool, and there's alligators there trying to get us, and they're hidden. You don't know that they're there, and they could just snap up money like crazies, losses, taxes, medical expenses, inflation, and the unexpected. But we're going to be mindful and vigilant, vigilant, right? Don't suffer the problems of many Americans 
ask questions, investigate, learn. Don't let the dangers of the financial world surprise you. No matter what you do, the powers that be that seem to control the financial realities of the world, they are watching you. Every other consumer looking for more ways to extract fees, commissions, and revenue any way they can, rarely with your best interest in mind. That's why you have to pay attention. So what do you think the first alligator is? Wall Street, right. And it's like a roller coaster. Like I just said, Friday just lost 900 and it goes up and it goes down. And what I saw in my practice was it was like a roller coaster. The first 10 years was fabulous because back in the 90s in 1991 and two, when I started, people were living off the interest of their money in a bank. Can you believe it? 12, 15% was the interest rate in the bank. So they could live off the interest. But then in the late 90s, when they had the first crash and to the year 2000, another crash, that didn't quite work. So the next 10 years, I had clients coming in almost crying because they lost 40, 60% of their pension. So they didn't really know about safe money. They had planners that got them in the stocks and they were gone, never to see them again. So you want to be safe. You never want to lose a dollar in the risky stock market. And there are pros and cons about it. If you know how to do it and you have lots of money that you can afford to gamble it and realize that, then that's really how that works. But in the times we live in, I think it's all about safety and protection. I think it's time that you put a bottom on your money and never put any money at risk. That's my point of view. I think we're living in some very volatile times. So I'm working hard and I really don't want to gamble my money in the stock market. I mean, the casino, I mean, the market, right? It is like Las Vegas. If you got extra money and you like the thrill, go for it okay but make sure that you have a good percent of safe money and it's like i said it's like a casino and the house always wins so whether or not the price of an individual stock goes up or down really doesn't matter to wall street they want to make sure they get their commissions and their fees and both on the purchases of the sales and when you buy them so it's really only worried about their own income. It's not worried about yours. So remember, it's not what you earn, it's what you keep. Now, this guy, this guy's showing his face already in the last few months. The inflation is through the roof. Obviously, everybody knows that. Go fill up your gas tank, right? So you want to make sure that you understand all of these taxes. And I have some great strategies. That's right tax-free income for life now i didn't find out about this till my late 50s and i'll tell you i was so mad that i was dedicated to tell people about this so the the taxes is what's really going to clobber people you know your 401k is a tax bomb so when you get to retirement there are really four major strategies you're going to be concerned with social security right Taxes on your Social Security, that's right, it will get taxed. Capital gains, taxes on interest income, and taxes on death. So now, we don't really want to think about taxes, but it only happens a couple times a year. But there's some taxes that will greatly affect your lives, and they really have to do with all the things that we're talking about, Social Security. So the IRS wants every chance it gets to snap up more of your money. So this is how they're going to figure out your social security. You're going to, you're going to be able to see that when you make 32,000 and you're married or 25 and you're single, you're going to get taxed on your social security if you're still working. And then if you make 44, you're, married or you're single and it's 34 that's right you're gonna get pretty close to one dollar for every three dollars but if you learn the happy money strategies i will show you how to mitigate that and get beyond all of those crazy things now 
widows and divorce benefits and everything can get really complicated, but there's some strategies that you can actually get income even after being divorced in Social Security. So remember, I am highlighting a lot of things that we'll be able to talk about, talk about in a healthy money financial fitness breakthrough strategy session. But I just want, want you to be aware of these things. 61% of women, that's pretty huge, are going to be responsible for their money either with the death of the spouse or divorce or never getting married, being single. All of these things are going to affect us. And what you're going to want to learn about is how is going to your payout in Social Security is going to be. A single life payout check stops if your spouse chose a single life in their Social Security. So there's a lot of intricacies and in how all of that is going to affect your retirement. And when you look at it, it's a full picture. You know, you really want to look into the future. It isn't like just what you're making now, but when you get to that point, how, what tax bracket you're going to be in? Are you still working? Are you getting taxed on your social security? There's a lot of, lot of different things. So your, your retirement, our retirement, compared to my dad's retirement, it's totally different. Now, my daddy, my daddy was awesome. He was a genius. He was born in 1919. So the stock market for him was fabulous. And he did really well in it. He really did well. And it was back in those days was about 10%. Those times have changed. So when you look at the things, Back in his days, we had the ground level of pension, social security, and your nest egg. Those were the three things that you would retire on. Now, pensions have gone away since 2008. And a lot of it is going to be dependent on your nest egg. I know, smart guy. My dad went to school. He was taught by Einstein. Very, very genius daddy. And... Einstein says the hardest thing to do is understand the money, right? The money that's going on. And this is, this is really what I want you to take a moment and look at. So we have capital, we have capital gains taxes. So we're going to get taxed and we'll drill down on this a little bit about capital gains on real estate and stocks. There are ways to eliminate capital gains. So what you want to do is you want to take this text, text, test and look at your last 1040 form. Look at box 8A, 8B, and 9. Write this down so you can remember this. This is going to show you how much extra taxes you're paying. Now, we don't really think about taxes only a couple times a year, but this is, it's not enough for you to just think about it on in April, right? You want to look at how you can mitigate this. Then we have a state tax and that can go as high as 55% of your estate if you don't have it set up right. There are ways to eliminate capital gains, estate tax, and with charitable remainder trusts, with living irrevocable life insurance trusts, creating tax-free income. Depending on your estate, this is how we structure a healthy, happy money plan. Now, the taxes that you're going to be hit with, you're going to get clobbered on this the way of the taxes are set up. So let me show you. In the security that comes from knowing how to manage how much money do you have and how much money you have tomorrow. It's really about security and certainty, knowing you're protected and that you can count on it. Wealthy people take care of all those things that lead to uncertainty, creating a plan and sticking to it. So how much is tax deferral important? You're going to get interest on your principal, interest on your interest and interest on deferred taxes. That means that when you have tax deferral, your money's growing three times as fast. That's in your retirement accounts, 401ks and IRAs. But how important is this? 
Well, you know these guys. My generation, right? They looked a lot dinner, different. <laughs> the Rolling Stones, right? Keith Richard, I am sure he has an annuity. And annuities can protect you from capital gains and market loss. And, you know, when we get older, nothing we there's really nothing you can do about it we can put it off till later but we can't postpone it we can't reverse it so that's what it's about being here on the journey of earth but when it comes to taxes what if you could postpone them what if you could defer those taxes until your tax rate is lower keith richard right he couldn't stop aging but he's deferred a lot of those taxes as much as possible i'll bet you so what's more important peace of mind or higher rated return remember when we started ultimately it's about peace of mind that's what i was telling you so maybe you're more focused on getting the highest rate of return that you can but when you have a healthy money happy life dna you won't worry about how safe your money is because you'll know you'll never lose a dime of it you won't worry about missing out on the tax advantages you'll know for certain you've avoided probate and you'll never have to think about that again you won't have to worry about squeezing every little penny out of the profit out of an investment you'll be happy with a good rate of return that serves your goal and lifestyle and protects you and your family all without risk you won't have to be concerned that a nursing home or the government will take all your money and you can benefit from market gains without market risk now one of my favorite ways of doing this and i found out about this in my practice because when i started in the 90s it was great and i was doing everything that all the other planners were doing well I'm a legacy wealth strategist, so I had a different take. I did not like losing money when the market crashed in 1997. So it forced me to find safe money strategies. And I really plan my money that a lot different than you'll find than most pl planners do. Most planners are risk planners. I am a safe money strategist. I want my money protected. So. I started off with annuities. What's an annuity? Annuity is like a savings account with an insurance company. Not one person lost $1 in an annuity in the Great Depression. They are safe. You never lose your principal. Right now, at the time of this, this webinar, annuities are performing at five to 9% tax deferred. How cool is that? So do you want less taxes or more money? raise your hand again put yes in the chat and remember you guys can also put questions in the chat and we will get to those i will follow up with you later on after the webinar with those questions so let's shift do you want less taxes and more money if you type yes in the chat if you want to eliminate and minimize those taxes then let's go ahead and do it it's called triple compounding right we talked about this now i'm going to give you the phd of wish i would have known that i didn't find out till later on there's only going to be two places that's right two places that your money's going to be in retirement it's either going to be taxable or tax-free so check it out taxable probably pretty much everything that you own stocks mutual funds sell your business real estate iris 401ks all of those things and guess what here's your tax bomb your qualified money your 401k your iris all being taxed as ordinary income so it's a big tax bomb that's right then we have tax-free planning there's not a whole lot of that. We have muni bonds. They used to be fabulous. I don't like them. Why? Well, personally, I really don't want to invest with a bankrupt city like Los Angeles, right? You got the point on that. Roth IRAs, those are great. Problem with that is if you make $100,000 as an individual or 160 as a family, you're not allowed to invest. And then if you do invest, where is it put in risk 
in stocks that go up and down. So it's not the best way. It's better than nothing. But what I really like is what's called investable life insurance, index universal life. So I'm going to tell you something that is the coolest thing. This is the PhD in financial planning. Tell your friends about this. This will change your life. This will help people that don't even have money create money. So here you go. There's a problem with your IRA. When you retire, it's not worth as much as you think. So when you draw your retirement income from, from the IRA, you will owe taxes, that's right, at ordinary income. So if you had $100,000, you thought you were gonna use that for retirement, say you're in the 40% tax bracket, which, which is gonna be low, you only have 60. You can add zeros, but you hear what I'm saying, right? The solution is, boom, the IRA reboot. It allows you to convert your IRA into a tax-free vehicle with no out-of-pocket costs. Yep, you heard me. The, the real value of your account could be 20 to 40 or 60% less than you expect, depending on which tax bracket you're in. So you can turn a million dollars taxable into a million dollars tax free income for life today so how does it work so what you're going to do is systematically transfer your ira assets of cash accumulation into a life insurance product over three to five to ten years depending on how the plan suits you the taxes are paid internally by what they call participating interest policy loans but simply put you're taking the money from the death benefit that's right you get to live off the death benefit while you are alive that's exciting to me so you're going to reduce your realized taxation one third to one half during the conversion you're going to get tax free guaranteed retirement income you heard me right tax free tax free long term care catastrophic illness and right now that is so important and tax free wealth transfer this is so exciting to me and i i really get thrilled to share it with everybody you know when we get on our happy healthy money financial breakthrough strategy session i customize these programs for you and i'll literally give you your own private zoom class but i got more to share this is a hard one this is this is the catastrophic story of my family my mommy like i told you in the be beginning she had cancer and she had it for 10 years and she came up to me one day and she said honey and she had this piece of paper and she said honey please share this with your clients i went what mom she had big tears in her eyes then i looked down at the paper i have to do a whole lot not to just try and cry because it, it was catastrophic feeling when i looked at the number it was a bill from stanford hospital ninety thousand dollars for five days of chemo she had it five days a month for a year do the math pretty close to a million dollars guess what she had cancer for 10 years now my dad was very successful so he was able to make millions of dollars and help my mom get through this and i'm so thankful that he had the money so the million dollars worth of chemo is what inspired me to make a difference in people who might suffer greatly from the catastrophic illness injury like cancer or COVID. So $90,000 for five days of treatment each month for a year, like I told you, and she had therapies and drugs and doctors. So the caregiver was $15,000 a month for full-time care when it really got bad towards the end. Now, how, how are you prepared? How's your mom and dad prepared? 
And this is what inspired me. And this is how I can share this without crying. And I'll tell you, you know, I did go up to my family, you know, she had first three years and then, you know, she was cancer free for a few months. And, and I suggested, well, maybe you guys want to get some long-term care. And my dad was like, oh no, you know, I'm never going to a nursing home. And my dad was in denial. My dad was a genius, but he didn't and wasn't taught about catastrophic. He thought Medicare would cover it. Medicare doesn't cover it. So the majority of us think that some sort of long-term care catastrophic, it won't happen to us, but it does. We're living longer than before. We're more susceptible to disability, disabling diseases. Seven out of 10 seniors will end up in an extended nursing home. And that's, two out of 10 of those under 65, two thirds are gonna become penniless, penniless, penniless. That means no money within a year. Medicare only covers 2%. And that's usually the people that are comatose, basically. Medigap, they don't cover it. One in five Americans over 50 is at risk of needing long-term care services in the next 12 months. This is so important and that you need this. And you know, you do have a choice and to be prepared and to create some kind of a plan. Like I did, I tried to propose it to my daddy, but he was like, I'm never going to a nursing home. And my mom was like, honey, we should get this. But they didn't. And they ended up going through their whole estate. Thank God they had the estate, but it took everything that they had millions of dollars with cancer. So you have a choice. And that's why I'm here to inspire you because, you know, and my way of, of planning this, if you can get ahead of it, I don't really like the standalone long-term care where you're paying like car insurance, you're just paying this money out the door, but there's no value to it. If you don't use it, you lose it. I like the life insurance where you're putting money in something where it builds cash. So if you don't use it, you got cash or tax free income. So there's some very cool plans out there. And if in, like I said, we drill da down on those depending on your age, health and wealth. So I got a song about this. Expect the unexpected. Yeah. So long term care is something that people really don't want to talk about, like I've been saying, you know, seven out of 10 are going to end up needing long term care and the cost is devastating. This is what really wipes people out at the end of their life, losing money in the stock market, losing money in probate, losing money in nursing homes and medical care. And the care, depending on your state, can go anywhere from five to twenty thousand dollars a month you can see that your money's not going to last very long if you think you're just going to pay for it. Social security doesn't cover it. Health insurance doesn't cover it. Your pension plans don't cover it. Medicare doesn't cover it. What are you going to do? Pay out of the pocket, buy long-term care, or use Medicare planning? And again, paying out of the pocket can go anywhere from $170 to $1,000 per day right like i told you my mom's care was fifteen thousand dollars a month and and my daddy outlived my mom my daddy went to 96.5 but he had a fall and we had to get him a caregiver and and i did research and i found a beautiful fbi fingerprint cna approved caregiver ten dollars an hour 24 hours a day that was seventy thousand dollars a month and this is back in 2010 okay so i'm telling you these are the things that you want to make sure you're prepared and it's expensive so do you want to stay in your home and this is how i like to design you want to make sure that you get to have quality of life so a lot of my clients 
from my high-end clients to, to people that are day-to-day. -day. Learn how to stay in your own home. As you know, nursing homes are a disaster. You could create your home as a nursing home, put the rails and the ramps and get the tax-free income and hire your friends and your family to take care of you and keep the money in the estate. How cool is that? So, you know, you go out and you buy automobile insurance, right? How many, how many people are right in auto accidents? So you buy homeowners or fire insurance, right? Well, you're more important than your car and your home. And it's so important that you make sure that you are your most valuable assets. And so you want to make sure this is going to be the best way to take care of you and your family because it's really quite a burden to leave it on your family if you don't have a plan then they're going to have to figure it out and come up with it right so it's important to know moving countable assets into exempt assets and we can drill down on all of those things but i want to make sure that you understand the high level of this and then we'll develop your happy healthy money plan to you so do you want an ideal investment you know you do have the plan and what i call financial peace of mind where you're going to get safety on your principal never lose your dime you're going to get interest free or tax free deferred depending on what plan you qualify for income for life you can make withdrawals without a penny and no sales charges it's awesome okay so now we're going to talk about probate now this is really how i got started i'm i'm a i'm a paralegal i'm a legal document assistant what they call in california and i have a document preparation service i've created over six thousand probably close to seven thousand living trust in the last 30 years and thank god i've never had a problem they work now a living trust is a living document. It is just not the end of the life document. It's very important to have it while you are alive. So what is an estate? An estate is simply all the wealth that you've accumulated during your lifetime. Stocks, bonds, business interests, basically everything you own. So when you follow a typical estate through probate, and you can watch the Andersons, the Andersons have a, a sizable estate that money is going to be tied up in probate for a long time. It can go anywhere from one to two years or more. And the cost is crazy. Depending on how greedy the attorneys can go, they can take anywhere from, from a third to two thirds of the estate. Then we have a state tax. Now all of that's going to change depending on the politics. And as you can see, Right now, we're pretty much into the 11 million per person, but I believe they're gonna change that. It was a million. So be aware, pay attention to this. This is gonna change. Now, there's really three ways you can distribute your estate. You're gonna do nothing. <laughs> hopefully you don't do that. Set up a will, hopefully you avoid that, or set up a trust. So let's talk about it. Dying intestate is dying without a will. You just nothing you have nothing so you're going to be vulnerable to all the courts and the fees and they're going to look at all of your estate and you'll be vulnerable to laws and fees and taxes that are vulnerable to your estate now won't joint tenancy protect you not really all it does is delay the taxes till later and you lose your stepped up tax basis because guess what a living trust gives you a stepped up tax basis that's right. You'll be able to get a stepped up tax basis when one spouse passes away. Now, let's just say my husband and I are smart. We have a house. Let's say he goes to heaven before I do. And I sell the house a year later. Guess what? I get a stepped up tax basis on the death of the first spouse. So my capital gains will only be one year of capital gains instead of 30 since I've had the house. Now that's a very simple way of explaining it. Of course, we'll go into more detail, but it's a very dangerous way. People put their sons and daughters on their bank accounts. Very dangerous way to set up your estate. Don't do it. 
Now, people think, of, well, I have a will, I'm fine. No, you, a will is simply a list of, in, of instructions that go to probate. And you'll be vulnerable to all the fees and taxes that are imposed upon your death. That's right. You get a trip through probate. Guess what? You have to hire an attorney. And you want to make sure that you have a prenuptial agreement. Well, guess what? Living trusts act as a prenuptial agreement. That's right. You can set your estate up and then maybe you get married again and that whole estate can be set up as a prenuptial agreement if you don't put your spouse on it. So there's creative planning there. A living trust have been around for centuries. Like I said in my number one best-selling book, Three Secrets for Safe Money and a Fabulous Future, Healthy Money, Happy Life. And it's not really secret. Nobody talks about these things. That's why I'm talking about it. I talk about trusts. Like I said, they've been around for a long time. They help you control the distribution and minimize the fees and taxes that are imposed upon your death. They avoid probate and they avoid conservatorship. If you become incapacitated or otherwise unable to manage your affairs and you don't have things set up, guess what? You go through probate while you are alive. That's right. You'll be vulnerable to all the fees and taxes of being incapacitated, going through probate, and then them assigning someone to you. And if you don't have it set up right, you might get your next of kin as your conservator. Maybe you don't like them. Anyway, it's good to have your wishes set up. And that way you can maintain, maintain complete control over your assets in your trust so how do living trusts work when you set up a living trust you simply transfer the title of all the assets you wish to place it in the trust from you as an individual to you yourself trustee of the trust people say well if it's really that easy have come i haven't heard about it before well you know why living trusts have been around since the middle ages like i said but guess what probate is a big business so attorneys and folks make a lot more money in probate than they do making a simple living trust and the information if we like drill down and look at some of these let me just take a case here to show you how this works now mr and mrs smith they have two children they're both married and they have an estate worth two hundred thousand dollars now the estimated fee of probate is going to be anywhere from three hundred to fifty thousand dollars in probate fees. So, having this revocable living trust is going to avoid all those nasty fees. They're going to place those the, all the assets in the trust, and upon their death, those assets will avoid probate and go directly to their two children without any probate. It's so nice. Now, Mr. Goodman, he's a widow, widower, and he has no children. So he's going to set up his estate into some of his friends, of his long lost friends, right? And the, the money will be set up in trust. He can stipulate just how he wants it to happen. Now, if they go to school, then they'll be able to, to use the money for college. All of those things are going to be set up for the kids. And this way, he's going to be able to avoid forty-five to sixty thousand dollars in probate fees, and this allowed him to be able to to pass the assets directly to the family without probate, without conservatorship, and to design the retirement to, for his friends. You know, I'm sure you heard this story. Bing Crosby, right? He had a trust, and his trust was set up that his kids could not inherit anything till they were 65. That's right. They had to do something magnanimous for the world, write a book or do something charitable before they could get the money. In other words, you got to, he wanted them to work for it. So you could set your trust up however you want. So Mr. Goodman maintained complete control of his assets, he avoided conservatorship, probate, and control the distribution of his estate now a few other estate planning strategies that our trust includes is a living will 
Now, living wills authorize the termination of any artificial life support in the event of a terminal illness. Very important to have power of attorney for financial. If you become incapacitated, you want somebody you trust to be able to pay your bills, handle your financial matters till you get well again. Healthcare power of attorney is so important for these times that your wishes are set in stone so if you want treatments you can have it written on your health care make sure your doctor gets it ahead of time and now in the times of pandemic with all the different kind of modalities of of of, of care that you can get your specific care can be, be delineated in your power of attorney for health care ahead of time so important that you have this set up and given to your doctor so the question is do you want to keep your money out of court yes and not go to court avoid probate avoid conservatorship and set up a revocable living trust okay we're on the home home stretch right now we've avoided probate we've avoided conservatorship but there's one more alligator here well actually there's a couple the last one nobody wants to talk about but this guy you know they're okay for emergency funds and they you know they don't have really good investment strategies they have no interest at all and basically you're paying taxes on money you're losing you know i have clients that go in there and like my banker told me to invest in you know and they're like you know 70 80 years old and they're putting them in risk you don't want to be in risk in your third and fourth quarter life you want to make sure your money is going to be there when you need it so everything's performed kind of lousy for a while there and they don't really know how to guide retirees so you want to make sure that your money is safe so i'm not saying you got to go take everything out of the bank but they don't have a clue on where to put your money to have it safe oh here's that one i didn't think we wanted to talk about maybe we can go back talk about no we're gonna have to talk about it ah, procrastination so you're probably asking what am i going to do what's the exact formula to have long-term care success to have bulletproof retirement planning to really know right what to do now you can see there go to meet with chrismiller.com that's how you're going to be able to set up a time to hop on the phone with me and not have to worry about your money because we're going to be able to set up a time so i'm going to ask your age your health your wealth you'll be able to ask me questions and then i will set up a customized plan come back to you and be able to share it with you and then send everything to you it's a very cool process so what i want you to be informed is you know how are you going to be able to not worry about your money when you want to take social security and and to get all of these great questions answered you're going to want to make sure that you go to there's going to be a little pop-up to go to meetwithchrismiller.com now we want to retire rich retire stress-free right your goal shouldn't be making as much money as possible right rather it should be about peace of mind if you're at peace with your financial affairs you have the right amount of money grab the link below so you can set up time to see how i can help you understand there is a lot of folks on the webinar so this is about envisioning your future so you want to remember earlier what i told you we're going to work together i can help you understand there's a lot of folks on the webinar so this is about envisioning your future and and as i said there's a lot of people on there so the first call is to see if i can help you it's a quick 15 20 minute call and we'll just take a little pause like how does it work what is a financial fitness retirement breakthrough session you know we hop on the phone like i said i ask you your goals your age your health you ask me questions you know and i'm sure it's going to fill up fast so so go ahead and do it because i am kind of booked ahead of time now for the next year 
get in there and i want to be able to help you so as i said grab the private link there for my calendar now stick with me here i've got a few more things to to share with me we're almost done and and we're on the home stretch really so i like to give extra value so if you can hang in there where do we go from here now a few more things to share on the three secrets for a fabulous future these principles work no matter where you're from and how much money you have let me restate here why you want to go through maybe you want to go through hours and months of years of trying to figure this out on your own waste thousands of dollars times on webinars and brokers and different bunches of notes and plans try it if you want or you're welcome to when you can simply model what's what's working i own what i sell and here's why i'm the person that you want to work with six thousand clients over that in the last 30 years have never lost one dime in any market risk as i said i show you what i own and that's why i have many many people that want to talk to me and there's a lot of them trying to talk to me and some aren't qualified to talk to me so so i want to work with you at the highest level you know as i told you in the beginning because of watching my family's nightmare of losing money in in the stock market as i told you that is what's inspired me to be able to help you so check this out do you want safe money there is a cure do you want to move in the right direction eliminate the confusion don't feel obligated by the past personalized financial fitness strategy review you'll get a breakthrough i'm sure and get your assets in shape that's right healthy money it's the same thing health is wealth healthy money it all works together and go to meetwithchrismiller.com now i wanted to make this really easy for the average person because what i found is money financial planners they make this so complicated attorneys talking about trust nobody gets over well it's over i don't want to deal with it and then they start the retirement plan at 70. so i've made it simple you don't have to google tons of books you can read my book you can read other books but i've got a simple step-by-step -step happy money plan to create tax free or tax deferred income for life you need a roadmap i got it I'll give it to you. And my experience has shown when you try to complicate it, you'll never even start because you get bogged down with the details. Commit to learning everything you can about retiring without paying taxes or about a life insurance or about Medicare. So financial fitness, go to meetwithchrismiller.com. It all starts with asking yourself simple questions. Do you want to protect your assets from long-term care, taxes, losses? There are hidden dangers along the way, hidden costs, hidden taxes, hidden fees, hidden uncertainty. But you have to look where others don't. Or why wouldn't you just implement the steps and the plan that's been proven to work, right? after implementing what you've learned in my focus is implementing on it now and this is the time do it while the sun's out and you ask this you know there's a perfect system out there for you and your family and your business and your lifestyle and without speaking to someone who actually knows what is actually true and what can separate the real steps from what's just junk what's false information what could end up ruining your retirement fund but it doesn't have to be that way you can absolutely do this simply okay so do it while the sun's out and you know as i said i've been doing that. i've been making trusts and helping attorneys i'm referred by banks i have a humongous testimonial list you can go to my site read all about me but again i do want to invite you to sign up for the financial fitness breakthrough strategy session i'm offering a next chapter checklist the little screen should have shown up throughout 
the seminar. Again, go to meetwithchrismeller.com and I'm excited to be able to talk to you guys. If you're able to see this little form on there, I want you to be able to look at that. And I also will be emailing this out to those of you that might not have seen the whole thing. We're gonna send it out and give it away. Share it with your friends right now. Plan why the sunshine is out. Again, I really wanna thank you for attending your financial fitness journey begins with one step meet with chrismeller.com i look forward to talking to you god bless there's so much to learn about healthy money i hope today's discussion brings you one step closer to securing and protecting your future so you can get started on the right foot, go to meetwithchrismeller.com and schedule your free financial fitness strategy session. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to Money 911 so you don't miss our next episode, which includes health, wealth, and peace of mind.